In 2009, there were over 10.2 billion rides on public transportation in the United States. In the Grand Rapids, Michigan area, over 9.3 million rides occurred. But the story of public transportation is more than the riders you see. Public transportation is a $48.4 billion industry employing more than 380,000 people. In West Michigan, American Seating and its manufacturing partners from across the region build passenger seating for city service bus, rail, motor coach, and demand response vehicles. Their products are on the road and rail each day in every major U.S. city. It's small and medium-sized businesses working together to create exceptional products. Well, I think that there is a, a benefit in the future for the growth of the mass transit. Uh, the indications are that, uh, that energy is not going to get any less expensive, so more people are going to be utilizing mass transit to get to and from work, to get to and from shopping. I think it bodes well for the future of, you know, of our region in terms of attracting manufacturing as well as the service types of industries. Roughly 70 percent of the goods and services that we procure to make our product come from the three-state area of Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio, and over 50 percent of our total product procurement is from the state of Michigan. Well, Michigan is very important to us. We have not only our uh, employees reside here, our customers um, reside here, at least many of their headquarters, and so we try to take care of not only our, our ADAC family, but our supplier family and our customer family by having a focus of local, region, and state. Well, West Michigan is kind of unique. and uh, In America, West Michigan actually has a higher concentration of family businesses than anywhere else in the country. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of us manufacturers that have been around for a very long time with a family focus. We feel like part of our business is to take care of our employees. And as a matter of fact, for us, when you look at our value statement, the first one is we're here to take care of our employees and their families. Uh, nationally, about 14% of the jobs are in manufacturing. Uh, in West Michigan, still about 22% of the jobs are in manufacturing. Manufacturing in the state of Michigan is still the number one key to gross domestic product here. Okay, so it's still a big deal. It uh, is uh, key to uh, uh, keeping our young people in, engaged in the uh, community as well as going to school and coming back to the community for uh, economic growth for the future. So um, we need to have the rapid continue to do things, American Seating continue to do things, uh, what fits to the market and their application thereof. Uh, and then we want to be there to support them along the way. There have been plenty of studies done um, that for every job that we can create for public transportation. If you look at the supply chain and their supply chain, when you're at the, the end of the, uh, uh, the food chain, if you will, for every job, we've created six jobs. I'm a working foreman, so to speak. Uh, I run the bandsaw and I have my, have my hands dirty with everyone else and out here making parts, so. Typical day is pretty hectic come in and you run, run, run all day long because there's not much lead time or everybody wants their stuff now, you know, so. All in all, you know, it's all for one main goal to, to get a job out, so. It is a lot of fun. Got a lot of nice people here. A lot of people have been here for 15, 20, 30 years. Oh, we are family. No doubt about that. We're, we're all family here. It's important to people to find places where they know they're, they're going to be taken care of and we're able to do that here. Um, our business has never been directly into the automotive sphere. We're not dependent on a GM and we're not dependent on a Ford uh, or a Chrysler. Having that diversity, having that additional business, being able to participate in an industry like mass transportation, frankly helps save some of the jobs that are still here today at our Saranac facility. It is a new world with regard to manufacturing and I see jobs from overseas coming back to the states. The qualities here, certainly the delivery and the cost. Innovation with regard to process and product is a big deal. Uh, product life cycles are getting shorter so we are able to work with the customer to uh, optimize the process and optimize uh, uh, how it gets made so it's a very competitive product. Uh, so we do um, um, about 800 jobs a week, different jobs uh, that uh, um, 
ultimately end up in, in a variety of different buses and subway car configurations. Roughly 25% of our business this year has been, to one extent or another, uh, directly impacted by stimulus. Uh, the local transit authorities, they had plans to buy buses. They couldn't come up with the local funding sources. Um, and the, the, the all, without the federal stimulus package, they would have had to delay the purchases of those buses. That would have delayed us making the seats for those buses and it would have certainly had a negative impact on our workforce. There's a number of our employees that you know not only work making seats for public transportation, but they rely on it in order to get to work. So you know, there's a number of people that don't have cars, don't have a need for a car because they live in a city. Investing in public transportation creates jobs that contribute in a significant way to our regional economy. But the returns don't end there. Serving the greater Grand Rapids metro area, the Rapid plays a key role in the economic and social fabric of our community. It gives people a cost-effective way to get around, freeing up money for food, health care, education, or housing expenses. It's a reliable way to get to work, school, health care services, shopping, and entertainment venues. It's an important component in providing freedom and independence for seniors and people with disabilities. And it's giving people a smart choice for preserving our natural resources and reducing air pollution. Well, I started riding the rapid about two years ago. And I don't know, I just, I like to ride it. And it's good for me to get around on the bus. I don't have to rely on my parents. The best part is I get out I meet new people, and I just like that. really got into riding the rapid just because it was so much easier. When I came downtown, I worked at the mayor's office at one point, and to come downtown was such a hassle to pay for parking, to find a parking spot, and I just realized, like, I literally could walk out the door, and the bus came, so it was much easier to come downtown. I didn't have to be hassled with paying for parking. Um, it was just much more convenient. Not having to like bum rides off of people to get into Grand Rapids and do all sorts of things has been awesome. Not having to pay gas is always huge. Um, back when I did have my car though, I still was using the bus to get from, you know, Allendale into Grand Rapids and that's, you know, almost 20 minutes worth of, of driving that I didn't have to pay for. I owned a car prior to uh, 2006. Uh, I was paying $160 a month in a car payment, another $120 a month in insurance, uh, plus gas and maintenance. Uh, for a college student, uh, that $250 I just didn't have, uh, it's really enabled me to uh, focus more on studying and focus less on how I'm going to afford how to get around. For the most part, I mean, if you want to get anywhere in the downtown area, I mean, jumping on a bus is super easy to do. So that, that's been one of the benefits I found. I mean, if I take the 50 all the way down from Allendale, in, you know, to the 131 overpass, um, I can then just kind of walk and catch like one of like eight different buses that'll take me almost anywhere in the in the general downtown area. It's so critical to be able to bring young people into the area, especially those from larger cities who are used to public transit, um, for their ability to get around. So I, I think it's really important that we invest in it because without that, you know, it's it is difficult to get around and you do need a car. My my godmom, she goes to um, out to one of the malls. She gets on the bus and she rides out to one of the malls. She doesn't have to call anybody to take her. I mean, she just get herself on the bus and go out there and have lunch or do her shopping and she's up in her 80s. So that's a, it's a part of independence. I think it's, it's kind of interesting when, when people find out that you, you rode the bus to work. Uh, uh, sometimes they're kind of envious uh, and, and think, why didn't I do that? One of the things that I was quite surprised at when, when I actually started riding was who else was on the bus with me. It was about a 50-50, maybe 60-40 split between students that are using the, our transit system to get to school and um, the other 50 or 40 percent were people going to work. Um, in order for us to get out of this uh, this very rough economy, it has to be about job creation and job opportunities. And so, you know, one of the most obvious questions is, you know, how are folks going to get to these jobs? Uh, again, it speaks to the importance of the rapid, speaks to the importance of the bus system, 
um, to all involved. It is a major, major component to the economic engine. Whether that's through employment opportunities in the industry or the riders that use transit to meet their needs, investment in public transit is ultimately an investment in the people of our community.